this kind of stuff is kind of fun, you know, you can do this for a long time. I try not to overdo it, but, you know, sometimes I get carried away, just like anybody might. Um, but just trying to give it something pleasing to look at. Obviously, I'm using that lazy mouse, lazy pen. Uh, really helps to keep the curves or the cuts I'm making here. These wrinkles kind of curvaceous. Yes, that's a word. In that, <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of bumps into it. You know, not a lot of um, crooked, jagged, shaky lines. I'm able to turn pretty much the wrinkle wherever I want to, but whenever it starts to flow out, it can still run out smooth. It's about dissecting this guy. There we go. And see we're starting to run into some of the musculature. This is kind of interesting to play with too. You can go and enhance that these areas with these wrinkles. Again, there's going to be scales, like little scales on this. So it's um, these will get a little bit washed out, if you will, a little bit um, worked out with some of that scale work we'll do. It's highly important to get these in here because it really helps to grab all the texture uh, later on. Cool. Okay. Let's have a look see. Everything looks pretty good. And then we can do the same thing over here. Just just a little bit of suggestion. Just like in the corners where things might kind of get flexible. Signifying that these are like hard plates, but they aren't, you know, they're not made out of stone or anything. You can even knock off the sharp edge. Just add a bit of a... Um, um, notches on this side. Just kind of flicking those things on. Just working your way down. Some of this stuff you may want to get asymmetrical with eventually once we get closer to the middle of the, the neck. And if we go anything here, you might want to go asymmetrical with it. We'll work on that transition in a little bit. All right, cool. Um, okay. So this is basically just the same stroke over and over again. So sorry if it's boring, but uh, I gotta layer these on, or it doesn't doesn't look right. I don't like that. All right, let's go to the neck, and uh, let's get some big swoops in here. teetering on asymmetry here in a second. Gonna be hitting that pretty good. But this area should be pretty um, wrinkled up from bending head, rotating the head, things like that. And we can go ahead and puff out some of this too. Just take the form soft and just run it a couple times. 
gives it a bit of weight to the wrinkles. Let's go ahead and get to the middle here, and we're going to turn off symmetry, and we're going to purposefully avoid connecting wrinkles here. So kind of take it a little bit diagonal, like that. Okay. Form soft again. We'll just puff these in a little bit. No need to lay down any masking or any of that kind of stuff. Just work with your draw size of your brush and just be have a steady hand as you sculpt it. And it should give you the desired effect. You probably need to unhide the head at some point, make sure. This uh, change looks good. Uh, let's cut across right here. Brushes. There we go. Something like that. A little bit less weird. There was a weird moment there. Alright, this little transition here to the plates. Um, I, actually, I actually want to uh, put one more little small ridge. Not too, not too heavy with it, but just enough to transition Let's get that uh, smooth, stronger. 